Hello, super friends, and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing what is going on with Harry Wells in The Flash Season 4. So let's discuss. I know, right? A Flash video. I haven't done one of these in ages. Like, it feels like it's been so long since I've actually done a video, like, topic video on The Flash. And I think it's just because The Flash has been off for so long that it's kind of been hard to do content. But anyway, we have a very exciting development out of last week's episode of The Flash Season 4 regarding Harry, who is, of course, the Earth 2 variant of Harry Wells, or Harrison Wells. And it kind of hints at the idea that perhaps this version of Wells is very similar to that of the Earth 1 Wells, aka the Eobard Thorn Wellsabar character, who means that that is actually going to be an interesting plot point because that could mean that this version of Harrison Wells is actually evil. So what I want to do in this video is quickly go through all the different possibilities of what's going on with Harrison Wells starting one by one. So let's start off with the first one which is, is this actually the Earth 1 Eobard Thorn? Which a lot of people have theorised, obviously when we recently went to the crossover with Crisis on Earth X we saw Earth 1 Eobard Thorn there and he was actually, you know, as Wells, he was there in the Wells face. And he actually said to Barry at the end of that, after Barry lets him go, he says, I wonder what face I'll be wearing next time we meet. And people are theorizing that perhaps this was like a jump crossover period where perhaps Earth 2 Harry Wells was gone or died or whatever. And this is actually Earth 1 Harry Wells or Earth 1 Eobard Thorne actually taking over the body of Earth 2 Harry Wells or just continuing in the Wells body that, he knew, that we all know from season 1. Now, this is definitely a possibility. I feel like Eobard Thorne has definitely got a part to play in this season. And I think it will be, when Eobard Thorne does eventually show up this season, I think it will be the, the Harrison Wells version. Because obviously Matt Letcher, who plays Eobard Thorne, he is busy all the time. He's also just been cast as a series regular on Narco, so there's no way he's going to be available through The Flash. So if we are going to get Reverse Flash show up this season, it's definitely going to be Tom Cavanaugh in the role. Uh, or someone completely different, who knows, but it's obviously most likely to be Tom Cavanaugh. So this whole theory about him being the, you know, Earth 1 Eobard Thorne is definitely plausible but I don't think it's going to be that. Now, another interesting theory that I've heard being thrown around, which I actually really like, is that this is actually the Earth 2 Eobard Thorn. I think that's really interesting, you know, the fact that the Earth 1 Eobard Thorn and the Earth 2 Eobard Thorn are both very similar in how they do things, you know. Eobard Thorn, on Earth 1, he became Harry Wells and he actually wanted to, you know, you know, he wanted to get close to Barry and everything. And then the Earth 2 Eobard Thorn also became Earth 2 Harry Wells. I think that'd be really interesting and a really cool way to play it if that's how they wanted to do it. I don't think this will happen just because I think it's a bit too far-fetched, especially with what the storyline's going on at the moment, because this story just doesn't involve reverse flash at all, doesn't even involve a speedster so it's it's a bit difficult i think it'd be a bit too much of a stretch for the flash writers to actually extend it to this if they were like oh yeah this harry wells character who we've been following since season two is actually earth 2 eobard thorn it's actually earth 2 reverse flash i think that'd be very interesting but personally i really don't think this is going to be true and i don't think there's actually that much to this theory there's actually a third option which i think is much more likely the third option is that this is just earth 2 harry wells as we know him pretending to be Earth 1 Eobard Thorn, because obviously we see him go into the Time Vault, which is where Reverse Flash used to hang out, where he used to keep his suit and everything, where he used to charge it up, and he basically messes with the panel a little bit, and he actually activates Gideon, and this is where we see Gideon show up for the first time in the Flash in a long time, and Gideon's there and says something along the lines of, you know, hello Dr. Wells, it's been, you know, a thousand plus days since we last spoke, and obviously if you track that back, if you actually look back, a thousand days would actually take you back to the Flash Season 1, which is of course when Eobard Thorne was posing as Earth 1 Harrison Wells. So this is a very interesting theory that I definitely think is true, which is that Earth 2 Harry Wells, who is a very smart guy as we know, is trying to fool Gideon into thinking that he is Earth 1 Harrison Wells, or is Earth 1 Eobard Thorne. And I think that that is what's going on here. He's going to try and get Gideon to help him, perhaps help him mess with the thinking cap, because as we see in the promo for next week's episode, that he is kind of still going with the thinking cap, trying to upgrade it, trying to think it, how to try to figure out how it works so he can take down DeVoe. And he's going to be getting Gideon's help for that, but he can't just go in. Gideon's not going to trust anyone, so she has to trust Eobard Thorne. And if he looks like what Eobard Thorne last looked like to Gideon, then that means she's going to trust him because she's going to think, oh yeah, that's Eobard Thorne, even though it's not. So I think that this is definitely the most plausible theory, the most likely theory, especially because, like I said, Harry's a very smart guy, and I think the intellectual battle right now that's going on between Harry Wells and Clifford DeVoe is a lot more exciting than the actual fight that's going on between Barry Allen and Clifford DeVoe. I think it's a lot more entertaining, and I think that Harry is such a good character, I really like him, he's, he's my favourite Wells, I think he's really cool. Um, you know, I just like the smart, kind of rough scientist guy that he kind of is, and his banter with Cisco. I think is hilarious. So... 
yeah, I definitely think that this is going to be Earth 2 Harry Wells as we know him. You know, he's still the, he's still a good guy as we all thought, as we all know him to be. But he's a very smart guy and he knows that he can trick Gideon into thinking that he is Earth 1 Eobard Thorn, And that is what's going to happen here. So what about Reverse Flash? Now, like I said earlier on, I do think Reverse Flash does have a part to play this season. I think he will be coming into it towards the end. I think that, you know, I've seen a theory thrown around like this before, but I think it's very good. Which is that perhaps, um, you know, Clifford DeVoe, one of his plans is to actually destroy the Speed Force. And this is where Eobard Thorn comes into it. He says, look, Barry Pal, look, this guy, if he destroys the Speed Force, he's going to take away both of our powers. We need to team up at this point. We've seen Reverse Flash and Barry team up before. It's nothing, you know, out of the ordinary, really. So I'd actually love to see Reverse Flash come back just to try and help out Barry take down DeVoe. Especially because we know that DeVoe, based on what we saw last season, he is... You know, as I think Abracadabra said, and as did Savitar, you know, DeVoe is the most devastating villain that the Flash has ever had, apparently, and he's the one who's done the most damage to him, and I really haven't got that vibe this season. I haven't really got the vibe that he's really that dangerous to him, so I need to see him do that, and if he's actually going to end up teaming up with Reverse Flash to take him down, then that means he's got to have a pretty big threat. So what do you guys think is going on with Harry Wells this season and the Flash season 4? Let me know in the comment section down below all your theories. I'd love to hear them and let's have a good conversation about this in the comment section down below. Obviously, I think this is a very interesting theory. Like I said, I just think it's going to be Harry posing as Harrison Wells, Earth 1, Harrison Wells slash Earth 1, Eobard Thorn. It's getting very confusing at this point. Hope you're keeping up. But obviously, uh, I don't think he is going to be evil. I think it's going to be a bit of a stretch and just to kind of do the evil Wells thing again might be a bit weird. Uh, especially when season 2, you know, a big part of season 2 and his character arc in season 2 was establishing the fact that this guy wasn't actually evil. This is not Eobard Thorn. So hopefully this is just going to be him uh, actually just trying to fool Gideon like the smart scientist that he is. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.